Hello and good evening, everybody. Nice to take the mask off, actually. Um, OK. Um, I'm required to, um, first of all, read out the local results um, for the mayoral and um, constituency level uh, totals. So I'll do that first, and then I'll announce the I'll make the declaration in respect of the um, assembly member. So, firstly, with the so, firstly, with the um, first preference votes for the mayoral candidates. Sean Bailey, Conservative Party candidate, 36,471. Cam Baliev, Renew, 461. Sean Berry, Green Party, 21,149. <laughs> Count Binface, Count Binface for Mayor of London, 2,240. Valerie Brown, the Burning Pink Party, 570. Piers Corbyn, Let London Live, 1,581. Max Foch, Independent, 544. Lawrence Fox, The Reclaim Party, 2,911. Peter John Gammons, UKIP, 770. Richard John Howard Hewison, Rejoin EU, 1,915. Vanessa Helen Hudson, Animal Welfare Party, People, Animals, Environment, 1,100. Steve Kelleher, Social Democratic Party, 741. Sadiq Aman Khan, Labour Party, 93,437. <laughs> David Curtin, Heritage Party, 679. Farrar, London, Independent, 934. Nims Abunji, Independent, 840. Nico Omilana, Independent, 2,779. Luisa Manon Porritt, Liberal Democrats, 9,773. Mandu Kate Reid, Vote Women's Equality Party on Orange, 2,346. Brian Benedict Rose, London Real Party, 2,202. And that, that completes the voting, local voting for the mayoral candidates. Now, I'm now going to read the totals for the London-wide um, Assembly member ballot. So I'll read the party and then the number of votes. Animal Welfare Party, People, Animals, Environment, 2,749. Christian People's Alliance, 2,142. Communist Party of Britain, 685. Conservatives, 29,213. Green Party, 33,406. <laughs> Heritage Party, Free Speech and Liberty, 834. Labour Party, 83,844. <laughs> Let London Live, 1,079. Liberal Democrats, 15,984. London Dependents, 446. London Real Party, 1,278. National Liberal, National Liberal Party, Self-Determination for All, 196. Reform UK, London Deserves Better, 1,493. Rejoin UK, 3,789. Social Democratic Party, 670. Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition, 1,158, UKIP, 1,390, Vote Women's Equality Party on Orange, 6,693. Okay, and finally, I'm now going to uh, declare the result for the constituency member. So this is constituency Lambeth and Southwark, declaration of results of poll. 
as constituency returning officer for the election held on 6th of May 2021 of the London Assembly member for the Lambeth and Southwark constituency. I hereby give notice that the number of votes recorded at the election is as follows. Marina Masuma Ahmad, Labour and Cooperative, Labour and Cooperative Party, 91,949. April Jacqueline Ashley, Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition, 2,919. John Cornelius Cronin, Reform UK, London Deserves Better, 3,917. Florence Beatrice Marie Siro, Liberal Democrats, 20,920. Hannah Elizabeth Ginet, Conservative Party candidate, 30,855. Claire Frances Shepherd, The Green Party, 36,933. I therefore declare that Marina Masuma Ahmad has been duly elected as the London Assembly member for the Lambeth and Southwark constituency. Thank you very much. So nice not to be wearing the mask. Take the mask off. So, I don't, I can't, I, I, does this go down at all? Or is it, is it just at this level? I can hardly see you. I need some height here. So, first of all, thank you to the returning officer and staff and the police and the electoral services for both Lambeth and for Southwark. It's been a really difficult election and really appreciate you all for making this a safe election. Thank you, a couple of personal thank yous to my absolutely brilliant team who've been working on this campaign now for such a long time. It's the longest campaign in history in this, um, in this country, I think. And I think you all know who you are, but a couple of thank yous, especially to Vela for doing the brilliant work on the social media. And can I say a massive thank you to my agent, Charlie Mansell, who is a legend in Labour Party circles for the amount of work that he's done for so long to make this happen. And I know he works through the night. I've had the emails that have come from him at two, three and four in the morning. Thank you, Charlie. And of course, to my wonderful family who Whenever there's an election on, they lose mum and Imran loses his wife for weeks and weeks on end. I cannot thank you enough for always being there for me and backing me. This is your victory, all of you in my team as well. It's not just mine, it's for all of you and thank you. Thank you also to the Labour and Cooperative members who have worked tireless, tirelessly to deliver a strong result, and they've managed to do that. And, 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 you know, well done, because this is your result as well. And finally, a massive thank you to the Lambeth and Southwark residents who have put their trust in me as their London Assembly member and voted me in. I am so proud to represent such a diverse community that has so many proud and different cultures. It is the beating cultural heart of diverse London, from South Bank to the small community arts projects. It is such an incredible place, and I am so proud and so privileged to be representing this community and this constituency. Yesterday, I often refer to as the day of resilience, because I don't need to explain to you or tell you what this country has been through in the last year, we know. And the fact that we were able to hold these elections both in London and across the country shows us as a nation and how resilient we are and how vital that is and in the step of getting back to normal again and making things go back to what they are, they were. But also the really positive changes that will come out of what we've been through. I always pay tribute whenever I'm making a speech 
to our NHS and to our care and frontline workers. A year ago, I had COVID and I was really ill with COVID. And I believe that we as a country owe the people in the NHS, our care sector, our frontline workers, the bus drivers, the shop workers, who went to work every single day to get us through this crisis, who literally put their lives at risk for us. We should be on our bended knees saying thank you to them. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. So our job now, well, let's hope that to, it won't surprise you to know that I desperately hope that Sadiq Khan will be our Labour Mayor tomorrow for London. And our job is to rebuild London's economy in a green and sustainable way, to focus on jobs, training and investment, to invest in local businesses, which are the backbone of the local economies. It's an opportunity now to expand on social enterprise, and we need to make sure that the settlement for London post-pandemic is as good as, because it is as important as, what happened after 1945. So we must, must, must get the best deal for London, and a Labour well mayor will absolutely do that, and we know that that is what will happen if we get a Labour mayor. Child poverty, which I believe is the scourge of 21st century London and this country, which has no place in a country where we have the fifth richest economy in the world, and certainly no place on the, in the capital city of the fifth richest economy in the world. We could actually tackle that and deal with that with a jobs programme that ensures that there is access for training, career progression and trade unions. And it's about tackling the jobs issue with quantity, but as well as quality. I want to thank you again, everybody, and the amazing people of Lambeth and Southwark. After we hear tomorrow's results, the job of getting together to rebuild a bright future for London will begin. Thank you very much.